Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode from Network From Home. Today's topic of interest, we're talking all about how router encryption works. This has become more important in this day and age as we send a lot of our data wirelessly from our mobile devices to our routers and then to the internet. So it's important to understand how router encryption protects you. But on top of that, it's important to understand where the limitations of router encryption are. So I'm going to be talking about the different steps involved with router encryption, the different steps that happen when router encryption is put in place. And from there, you'll get an understanding of how the process works. But before I do that, it's important to understand that router encryption only protects communication that happens over Wi-Fi. So what is communication that happens over Wi-Fi? That's whenever you have a mobile device or a device that wirelessly connects to the internet. Whenever that sort of device is connected to and communicating with your router and that data is being sent from your device to your router over the air, that's where router encryption protects you. It prevents anyone who's trying to listen in on that communication from understanding the messages that your device is sending. So it's important to be clear here also that if you have a wired internet connection, you have a laptop with an ethernet cable connecting it to your router, this encryption is not in place because there's no Wi-Fi communication happening. There's a direct link between your device and your router. So there's no need for that encryption in the first place. So keep that in mind as I go through this description here of exactly how router encryption works. And then we'll tag up at the end here for some more information after I detail the process. So let's get into it now. All right, folks, here we are. Now we're talking all about how router encryption works. And we'll start first with a laptop that wants to join a router's wireless network. As you can see here, the wireless network name is My Wi-Fi. The laptop wants to join it, so it enters the network name, My Wi-Fi, along with the password for that wireless network. And what's important here is this password aspect. Because the user of this laptop knows the wireless network's password, this means that this is a trusted device, or more so, a trusted user that's using a laptop to connect to the wireless network. And this is important because of the next step. So let's see what happens after this laptop joins the router's Wi-Fi network. Okay, because this laptop and the person using it are trusted, they're trusted members of this wireless network, these two devices, your laptop and your router, they get together and they determine an encryption key that they will use for future communications. This encryption key, just think of it like a decoder ring. In reality, it's a really complex mathematical equation, basically, that is really hard for computers, I'm sorry, for computers to solve. But we'll treat it as a decoder ring. So the laptop and the router, the laptop joins the wireless network of the router. They get together, they say, hey, we're going to use decoder A for future communications. So what happens? They use that shared encryption key for any future communications. That encryption key is used to scramble the message that one device is sending another. So if a laptop is sending data to a router, if it has a request that it wants to go to an internet page, it will take that request and then it will use that decoder ring A to scramble that message. 
that message will then be sent to the router and they receive a scrambled message. However, they know that the scrambled message came from the laptop, so it knows that it can use decoder ring A to decrypt that message and then read it. Okay, that covers one device. So what if, what if you have multiple devices connecting to a router's wireless network? Well, straightforward enough, the router and the device have a unique encryption key that's used per device. So say the iPhone gets decoder ring A, desktop gets decoder ring B, and the laptop gets decoder ring C. All of these devices will have different encryption keys. So that way, the iPhone can't listen to the desktop and the router's messages that they send between each other. This is just an added layer of security here. Okay, so let's go a step further. 8.01 PM. Here we are, your laptop and your router. Your laptop joins the router's wireless network. They decide upon decoder ring A to use for future communications. So at 8.01, and actually, I'll go back and update this. Let's say this happens at 8 p.m. The laptop and the router decide upon using decoder ring A. So at 8.01, they start sending messages to each other with decoder ring A. Here's where things get really fancy. So let's say now it's 8.05. The laptop and router are using the encryption key A. But after a certain amount of time, they'll say, hey, let's switch things up. Let's start using a different decoder ring. Hence, this B right here, decoder ring B. They say, let's switch our encryption key to both start using B. So then at 8.06, when they start to send messages, they use this different encryption key B. And this is important because think about if an encryption key gets compromised by a hacker. That hacker will be able to decrypt the messages between the laptop and the router and steal any of the information from that communication. But if this encryption key is rotating on an interval and the hacker gets a copy of one of the encryption keys, they will soon be out of the loop again because they won't have the new encryption key that the laptop and router are using. In other words, if a hacker wanted to continuously steal this information, they would have to steal the new encryption key every time the laptop and the router shared a new one. Okay, hopefully you now have a good idea about how router encryption works. And before we close here, there are just a few things I wanna to touch on to give you a little bit more information and perspective when it comes to router encryption. But first is just the scope of router encryption. Router encryption protects you on the local network. So when you have a device that's communicating with a router wirelessly, it's protecting that link of communication. Now there are other forms of communication in place when that traffic goes out to the internet say with certain websites, they have different encryption mechanisms in place. But when it comes to your router, your router's encryption is strictly for that local communication that's happening over the air. Another word of caution for you, this is just something to keep in the back of your mind. In your home network, you can be confident that your router has the strongest possible encryption settings are in place but any time you're away from home, say you're in a coffee shop or even at a friend's house, you don't know for sure what their encryption settings are. So that's just a word of caution. When you're on a wireless network that's not in your home, your information and communications are inherently more at risk simply because you don't know the encryption settings that are in place on that router. So that's 
nothing to be too paranoid about, but just something to keep in the back of your mind. If you have any questions about this information that I presented today, please drop a comment below. If you found this information useful, please give it a like or subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content that's similar to this video. And as always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home. We'll catch you on the next one.